Good evening and welcome to our guided curriculum evening. You know at Mounts Bay we believe that anything is possible and we want everyone in our community to feel like they have the limitless potential to grow and follow their passions. We want all of our students to use those passions in their learning because let's face it, if you enjoy your work it ceases to be onerous. It's our ambition for everyone in the school, regardless of background or starting point, to achieve the highest academic standards in subjects they enjoy and this will help them become equipped with the values, attitudes and attributes that will serve them well in university, the workplace and their lives. We have always tried to provide our students with a curriculum that will enable them to go out and take on the world as it exists when they leave us. But the world has changed and nobody could have predicted what would happen over the last 18 months. That's why it's so important that we give the young people in our care the chance to express themselves. A large part of helping every student to do this is how we design our curriculum each year. This is something we take very seriously and unlike many schools we continue to structure our offering to embody both academic rigour and creativity. These are two things that we feel are critical to helping our students flourish in everything that they do. To achieve this intention we structure our timetable to place an emphasis on a wide range of subjects that is relevant to the world in which we live today. Your child will have just completed a one-year creative option and now we are pleased to offer the opportunity to study further options in years 10 and 11 alongside the recommended Modern Foreign Language and Humanities options that form part of the English Baccalaureate or EBAC as it's commonly known. In my recent letter to you I explained that an important part of our MBA way is that your student enjoy a broad and balanced curriculum. In an era of increasing globalisation but also one that privileges critical thinking, we are confident that both modern foreign languages and humanities are critical to a lifetime of success. Therefore, we are strongly encouraging the majority of students to include these subjects in their academic study, as we believe it is in their best interest. We want to encourage students to keep doors unlocked and open as they progress to the next phase in their lives. What I mean by this is that the decisions that are taken need to ensure that you can still take a different direction in the future as you may change your career aspirations over the next two to three years. I've known students who have wanted to be musicians becoming scientists, students who wanted to study mathematics becoming carpenters and students who wanted to be doctors becoming ecologists. Actually, come to think of it, I suppose that ecology can be seen as medicine for the planet. We've extended our offer even more this year and I would urge you to think carefully about the direction that you wish to take in your decision making. We believe that all people work better when they are challenged, engaged and see a relevance in their learning. So we've partnered with Cornwall College and Penwith and Truro College to offer courses such as construction, land-based studies and hair and beauty. These courses are demanding and take in many aspects of practical construction, animal care, horticulture and running a salon. There are other courses that are equally challenging on campus and tonight is your opportunity to explore some of these and see if they fit with the vision that you and your child have of their future. As you can see from our online booklet, students will need to make a first and second preference from each of the three blocks available to them. The first block asks them to decide upon a modern foreign language or humanity. The second and third offer a broader choice of humanities, modern foreign language and a range of creative options. Don't worry about the subjects that make up our core curriculum. They will provide a firm foundation to ensure that everyone who leaves Mounts Bay will have the knowledge and skills that they need to progress in life, no matter where it takes them. When it comes to making decisions, I hope you don't mind if I offer some advice. I have seen many students go through this process before. It would be unwise of your child to pick a subject because a friend is also studying it. A two-year commitment to a GCSE course shouldn't really be informed by friendship, as these obviously have time to develop elsewhere. Although we pride ourselves on the warmth and positive nature of the relationships between our staff and students, I would also suggest that your child doesn't pick a subject with the expectation of being taught by a specific member of staff. Instead of this, I would suggest that your child thinks carefully about which subjects he or she has enjoyed during years 7 to 9, which subjects he or she has experienced feelings of success in, and how these choices might help them with their future plans. As you are watching this video, I assume that you received our letter by parent mail last week and have had the time to view the Guided Preferred Choices booklet and discuss this at home. 
In addition to this, the letter established the protocols for using Eggdulink to book appointments this evening so that you could discuss specific preferences with subject experts, as well as our leadership team, who are curriculum experts too. Tonight's meetings will be held on Microsoft Teams on your child's iPad in the same format as our previous parents' evenings this academic year. Your child should already have received a series of links for Teams meetings on their iPad to facilitate this process. If you do have any issues logging onto Teams, please contact Mrs Frain, our assistant principal at kfrain at mountsbay.org, who should be able to help. After these meetings, the link below will take you to a form that will allow you to indicate your preferred choices. You will need to make a first and second preference with the deadline for all preferences being Monday the 7th of June. This means that you have some further time to devote to making a decision. The form will become available to you from 8pm and to keep things equitable, choices will be allocated on a first come first served basis. Please note that you can't submit a form without a second preference, which naturally needs to be different to the first. Places are automatically allocated using the timestamp that is generated when the form is submitted. After the deadline of Monday the 7th of June, we'll process student preferences and finalise the timetable for years 10 and 11. To celebrate the move into the upper school, we'll also be holding a Year 9 graduation evening for the first time this year on the 8th of July. You'll get further details nearer the time, but during this evening we'll confirm every child's preferences, celebrate their successes over the last three years at Mounts Bay and introduce them to the expectations for years 10 and 11 and GCSE study. And it wouldn't be Mounts Bay if there wasn't an exhibition and live music to enjoy too. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you in advance for your engagement and support with this process. We feel privileged to be able to help our young people as they grow into young adults and I look forward to seeing your child's preferences. Their well-being is very important to us and we wish them every success in their continuing studies at Mounts Bay Academy. Thank you.